Hi everyone, my name is Layo. Hi everyone, my name is Remy. And today we'll be sharing five questions you can ask when interviewing a nanny. Um, we all need nannies at one point, and these days it's becoming even more necessary because we work, we have a lot of working parents out there, working moms. You want someone in the house when your child come back, comes back from school. You want someone to help you with the baby, someone to help you with the, um, with the housework. And then it's very, very stressful bringing someone in to help you with all, um, bringing a total stranger into your house. And it's stressful because then you don't know what to, surely if it's the first time trying to get someone, you don't know what kind of questions you need to ask them. And I can tell you, I've been through a couple and Remito has been through a couple of hours help and it took a while before we could like find the right one. So from our experience, we decided to um, compile this five list of questions that we ask our nanny and we hope it can help you. So yeah, the first on the list is previous work experience. This is very important for me and I think it will be very important for you too. You would want to know what, how long the person has worked, what kind of um, experience do they have, what age group have they worked with, children, babies. Of course, it depends on your preference at the end of the day. Uh, do you have a baby or do you have a toddler or do you have older kids? So depending on their work experience, you know if this person fits right in into your family situation. And of course, you also want to ask why they left their previous um, place of work. And let me tell you this, if they come giving you all the bad experiences they had at their previous um, place of work, it's a red flag. People that do that more often than not are always troublesome <laughs> and you will probably end up regretting why you employ them. Trust me. Yeah, so another thing to find out is pretty important really because you giving your little ones with them if they have any experience or any knowledge of first aid treatment. So you want to know if they know what to do if your child has a cut, if, say there's a hot water or a hot water accident, for instance, what to do and what not to do. God forbid the child starts convulsing. Not the ones that will go and be putting a spoon inside the child's mouth. Though. We no don't way. want we don't want those or if the child ingests something that they're not supposed to please do not deep i'm people yeah. <laughs> we know there are yeah, a lot of no, stories no. out in palm oil but really that's mm-hmm. not the right thing to do. No. so you want to be certain that whoever you're employing knows all those things and it's really not bad if they don't know as long as they are willing to learn so yeah. if they don't know you could enroll them in a first aid course, for instance. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty important. That's true, because then anything can happen. Accident, it could even be a fire outbreak. Yes. You need to know, you need to know mm-hmm. that this person knows what to do if you're going to leave them at home in your house or with your children. Another thing, again, you should um, consider asking is their educational um, background. Do you want someone who has just a primary school certificate, secondary school certificate, or university degree holder? You want to know if, at the same time, it also depends on your preference. Do you want someone that is just there to do the nanny work, take care of my kids and clean the house? Or do you want someone that that would also help with homeworks, help my children with homework after school, tutor them? So yeah, that depends. Do you want someone that speaks English? someone that could speak proper English with your kids, or you're okay with someone that speaks pidgin English or whatever language it is they speak, are you okay with that? Those are the things you should consider when you're hiring a nanny. You don't want, if you are someone that prefers, uh, my children speaks very good English, I want someone that speaks good English because then you don't want them to, how should I say it, contaminate their vocabulary with (laughs) something else, yeah. So you should, yeah, educational background is actually very important. Yes, yeah, so another thing to find out is this person will be living in your house part of the time, really. So you need to find out if they have any health conditions. Mm-hmm. We're talking about allergies. We're talking about um, asthma. We're talking about really pretty much anything that may interfere with work. 
So mm -hmm. if your nanny or babysitter, for instance, has a peanut allergy, anybody who is working at your home will hit in your house, at least okay. some meals, if not. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they have a peanut allergy, for instance, you will already know that that granite soup that you made, your nanny cannot have <laughs> out no of way. it. <laughs> exactly. If you, have, have you ever heard of anybody having fish allergies? <laughs> yeah, but some really, people do. Um, seafood yes. allergies. Exactly. So if you know what, what stuff they are allergic to, you know you can prevent major incidents from happening. Mm -hmm. If asthma they have an asthma attack you already know kids an inhaler i'm getting and mm -hmm. yes that pretty much helps both of you to work better yeah and of course you could do your own um medical checkups when you're eventually employing them of course we know the basic hepatitis a b hiv yeah um, a, a, pregnancy, if you are okay with hiring someone who's pregnant into your house yeah yeah okay and then to our final on the list commitment to work you want to know if this person is committed to work with you you don't want to be introducing several people to your children like four or five nannies in one month or two months because they just keep leaving or you guys keep having issues no we don't want to know that you you don't want that excuse me you want to ask them why are you working as a nanny Am I, are you just, is this just in between work for you, waiting for your greener picture? You're just, yeah, because you don't just want to stay at home, you need money, and once you get something better, you zoom. Oh, this is a career path for you, this is what you've been doing. So, yeah, for me, I think I would prefer to hire someone that have had, like, a few experience working as a nanny, four, five, six years, and I know this is what they've been doing. And they are more reliable than someone this is just my first time people like that most likely would go if they find something else to do because then they're probably just doing it because they, they have they don't have anything doing at the moment and they need money to come in one way or the other so that's what you should ask they also need another thing you need to know is is this person um single is this person married if they are single, where do they stay? Do they stay very far from me? Do they stay very close from me? Will traffic be a problem? Um, if the person is married, do they have children? What age group are your kids? Are they toddlers? Are they babies? Or are they very independent young adults, like I like to call them? I mean the teenagers that can look after themselves. Yeah, because then if your nanny has a toddler or has a little boy of one year old, then you know that anything can happen because you yourself you're a parent you understand how it is when you have like very little ones in the house anything can happen so can you handle that that if my nanny calls me today and say oh my son is running temperature or oh, one thing one thing is of course there will, there will always be instances whereby they have to be unavailable due to unforeseen circumstances but then you don't want it to be very often but then when you have a toddler you know those unforeseen circumstances are usually very often we know how it is when we when we have kids so yeah these are the things you want to put into consideration when you're hiring in and these are the questions you need to ask you want to know if this person is committed um to work with you so yeah those are the five questions we have for you today the first one like i said previous work experience second one is first aid knowledge then of course you want to know what educational background they have and then you have to know if they have any health conditions. And finally, commitment to work. So yeah, we hope we're able to help anybody out there trying to figure out what kind of questions to ask when I are in a nanny. If you have any other question you've asked and you think they actually um, are very important, please share with us in our DM. We would like to know and share with others too. We are all here to learn and please let's learn together. Um, thank you for spending your time with us today. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Press on the notification button so that whenever our video drops, you're aware. Follow us on all our social media platforms. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at Family Talk NG. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.